Hi guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We're going to jump in and we're going to take a look at the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. This is comprised of the 11 sectors, the S&P 500. I seek that exposure using the Vanguard product. Um, most of the major brokers offer this type of product. I opt for Vanguard. It's fun to jump in and chronicle the performance of the portfolio. This is a great way of passive investing. A lot of people come to me all the time and they say they don't have time. They don't have time. Well, if you had a few minutes to just sit and enjoy a tutorial like mine, you can understand perhaps maybe what investing could mean for you. You'll identify that uh, with me, uh, the requirements to become a successful investor isn't that you have to become an expert at investing. Anybody can invest. It's identifying what type of investor you want to be that is the key. Guys, stick around. We'll conduct the review. So this is the portfolio that kind of started it all for me with M1 Finance. This is the one that I uh, eased into the M1 experience. I wasn't really sure what it had to offer. I really wanted to get used to it. Um, and it's it's really just pleasantly surprised me. And I'm, I'm proud to roll this product out once every couple weeks to the subscriber base. These portfolio reviews are awesome, man. You know, instead of me just coming on and saying, hey, here's three ETFs that you can invest in and do well with, I take a little different angle to it and I share with you guys how I invest uh, in the ETFs that I invest in. And I think you can really sit back and say, hey, th this is pretty cool. You know, this might be something for me. Uh, this might not be something for me. Uh, but at least we're setting that seed of understanding, uh, you know, the, the power of a platform like M1 Finance, okay, and the opportunity within uh, ETF investing. The second goal of this portfolio when I started was to reach $10,000, okay? And I really wanted to prove it's something that I hold very, very dear to myself as a strategic goal of the channel to empower an investor at a time. And that is to understand that getting to that first threshold of $10,000 is probably the most difficult threshold to meet, okay? Other thresholds will come after that, twenty-five, fifty. 50 100 uh, and so on down the line and there's no more impactual uh, threshold that i've ever met in my personal life than the ten thousand dollar mark for the sheer reason that i did not think that it was possible i just never envisioned myself being able to get to that ten thousand dollar mark and i was able to overcome that barrier and i think if we can share uh, that mental approach to investing, I think so many people would really validate investing for themselves. Uh, so we're approaching that 25,000 mark, which is the next uh, medium term goal in this. I'm not sure how long it'll take. Uh, obviously, the market's been fairly conducive to passive investing. This plays a very, very important strategic angle uh, in my portfolio. It's a rather small layer of the portfolio but a very important one because this helps supplement the full passive aspect of my approach to investing okay i do active investing i do single stock investing i do some swing trading i do some speculation uh, because it, it it all at times can be very very lucrative uh, and at other times uh, they can suffer and they they suffer in different degrees in other words if this portfolio suffers a little bit because the market starts to correct on us um, then I'll just uh, increase my contributions. Very, very simple. So you're always looking to make strong moves in the market. But here, uh, 15,860, just shy of 16,000 here. Total inflows into the portfolio at $11,414. Um, we're going on just uh, over two years here owning this portfolio. So not too long. You know, it, it, you know investing for a lifetime is super important. But you can make a real, real impact if you're serious about it and you really want to become an investor and start wealth building in the manner that I do uh, or use uh, part of what I do or none of what I do uh, to get yourself started. The whole idea here is not that you invest like me. Um, that is not the idea on the independent investor. The idea is that you seek out um, what style of investing is going to work for you. 
but up 4737 nothing to shake a stick out a nice five thousand dollar bill um, with just shy of 300 in divs i think we're due to be paid these which is kind of cool because all 11 of them pay at the same time so it's like one win on the lottery once a quarter when these pay out and i do actually see this being a nice little bonus portfolio once it gets to be a little more sizable in nature uh, and that way when those dividends roll in they can roll in on a very consistent basis perhaps maybe someday i shut the spigot off and realize those divs as cash but for right now i don't need them so they just roll back into the portfolio obviously here the value over time on on the chart is doing quite well uh, and um, the market has been conducive to gains from a passive and an active perspective. It really just has not disappointed. It's been a great time to be an investor. What else can I say? Um, so this is how it shakes out. These are the holdings. There are no slices. Um, there are no elements of the portfolio within each of the sectors. What you see are the actual holdings. Um, there's a reason for that. When I built this portfolio, I really didn't have the knowledge necessary to name this slice technology and then to click into that slice and find the technology um, this is how i built it and this is just how i kept it but it is more aesthetic uh, anyway because this is what i wanted these 11 holdings can absolutely take up uh, the entire portfolio there's nothing else outside of these 11 holdings but if we cruise down here, just a quick explanation on some things that could be customizable by you. You don't have to have technology on the top end like I do. If you like what I've done, I, it makes sense to me. It really does. But here uh, in the second place, healthcare is what I've got as well as financials and then consumer discretionary and down the line. So these can be ordered in the manner that you choose. Okay, they don't have to fall in the manner that I have, but this is what I wanted in my allocation. 14% here, 13%, 12%, 9 9%, and down the line. This can be changed to suit your needs as an investor. That's the cool part about this M1 Finance is that this can be tailored to your needs, how, how you want to invest, and it can be adjusted uh, in, that, in that manner. And you don't have to invest in the sectors either. You can invest with M1 Finance using the VTI, which is the total stock market index. You could do VOO. You could do some small caps. Um, you could even do some international exposure, some emerging markets, uh, or some developed markets. Whatever you wanted to do, M1 Finance makes it possible here. Um, so just understand that this is just an example uh, of, of how I seek out exposure to the market. Uh, and here the total returns are not to be not to be denied. We're up in every single holding. So absolutely impressed with the way that this has performed over time. And uh, I couldn't I couldn't have asked uh, for better performance. Um, but what's really surprised me in this portfolio is how well this is funded, how well it's performed with very little effort. And I think for a lot of people out there that don't have the time necessary uh, to devote to active investing. This is passive money 101. This is how you make money when you're off doing other things. This is making money while I sleep. This is very, very easy to do. Anybody out there can do it. All you have to have is a desire to get started and use the tutorials that I push through on the independent investor to give you those examples the strategy, and more importantly, the inspiration to start. So with that, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the Vanguard specialty ETF portfolio. Um, this has been a, a cool project to, to really chronicle over the last couple of years. I've owned the account anyway. Uh, it's been a cool way of wealth building, um, infinite number of ways to make money in the stock market. This is just one. Um, I roll it out for transparency on the channel. So you guys can understand just uh, one element uh, of my total strategic plan. Uh, this fits kind of a, a passive niche for me. I'm able to dollar cost average this up, uh, and I and I don't I don't mess with it. I, I let it go. Uh, this uh, account is uh, making money uh, while I'm doing other things, and for a lot of people, the prospects of wealth building while we're running our busy lives, uh, really can be attractive to a lot of people out there who just don't think that they have time 
to invest and, and more importantly, win at stock market investing. Guys, if you appreciate the message, you want to make sure and subscribe, leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share the message with uh, friends, family out there, bring them onto the channel. Uh, and uh, if you think they can relate with my style of uh, independent, uh, taking control of your own wealth and money, uh, bring them on, introduce them to the channel. We'd be glad to have them uh, as your success is really the uh, backbone of the uh, channel's success as well. As thank you so much for tuning in the message and good luck in your investment future.